are watching BNS News. Today's headline: Africa focused crypto trading app shut down. Co-founder says only Nigerian users affected. Economics professor identifies future security threat to Bitcoin. People's Bank of China governor vows to curb crypto speculations. Calgary residents lose over $22 million to crypto scams amid bear market. Padigam DEA forges protections of Fourth Amendment rights in IRS case. Binance supports circles dollar peg USD coin in Polygon. Lawmaker Tom Emmer throws hat and ring for the House Speaker role. Crypto investment product sees $66 million in flows in fourth consecutive week. CBI cracks down on $0.93 million crypto fraud in India arrest one. Runtime verifications launches Universal ZK roll up PI squad on Multiverse X. Bank of America CEO discusses economic slowdowns and Fed cutting interest rates. Lightning Network faces criticism from pro XRPL lawyers John Deaton. The Africa focused crypto trading app Vibra has reportedly stopped. Working in Ghana, Kenya, and Nigeria reports that the app is not working in the three countries contradict the co-founder claim that only users from Nigeria are affected. Lawrence White, a prominent professor of economics at George Mason University, has highlighted a potential future security threat that faces Bitcoin speaking during an interview with David Lynn published on October 22. Professor White expressed his concern regarding the long-term sustainability of Bitcoin security, particularly about the evolving reward models for miners. The new governor of Chinese Central Bank has promised to stop speculations associated with cryptocurrency transactions in the country. Pan Gangshans made the war in report detailing measures to maintain the stability of the Chinese financial market and prevent risk. The Calgary Police Service issued a warning to residents to be aware of fraudsters who promise high returns on crypto investments, noting that Calgary victims have lost more than $22 million, mostly to investment scams so far in 2023. Crypto investments firm Padigam has filed an amicus brief urging the reversal of a district court decisions in the James Harper lawsuit against the U.S. Internal Revenue Service. Binance supports Circle's dollar pegged USD coin on the Polygon network. Binance continues to support the bricked versions of USDC. The integrated version will be recognized under the ticker's Matic USDC on Polygon. Congressman Tom Emmer, who sponsored a number of crypto related bills over the past few years and is the co chair of the Congressional Blockchain Caucus, said Saturday he is making a bid for the vacant Speaker of the House position. Crypto investment products have seen a total of $66 million in flows in the fourth consecutive week as expectations of approval from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission for a spot Bitcoin's ETF rise. With the latest influx, the total fund amount in crypto investment products has reached $33 billion. 